Hey there everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this one we are actually going to be doing an update video on a uh, mod I spotlighted about a year ago. Uh, so this is the Constructron Continued Mod. Uh, this is basically a way to automate almost completely all of your ghost and blueprint building. Uh, now, there have, of course, been updates throughout the last year, uh, but the dev did just drop a very large um, one-year anniversary update and contacted me and uh, kind of let me know that it was happening and gave me some good talking points about it and stuff. Um, and I thought I would check it out again since it has been a year for anyone who maybe missed it the first time or is new to the channel and didn't see it initially. Um, you know, I, I highly suggest sticking around because this is a really, really awesome top-notch mod. Um, I love it a lot. And... Uh, there's some good stuff here. So I'm gonna just do a quick overview of the mod for anyone who missed the first spotlight. Uh, essentially, like I said, it allows you to automate, like completely automate your building of blueprints or ghosts or deconstructing or tile placing um, or repairing even. Uh, so inherently, spider and vanilla, of course, can request items and uh, you know, use robots to build stuff, etc. cetera. Um, but you do have to still do a manual step of actually sending them to a place like to a blueprint or whatever to actually go there and do that and then once they're done you have to like bring them back manually you know with the remote or send them somewhere else uh, but this eliminates like all of those manual steps the only thing you have to do manually essentially is just put the equipment in them and then they will go and do things um so it just adds two new things to the game as the constructron of course which is modified spidertron and then the construction constructron service station which is like a modified RoboPort. Um, so I've placed these down. They just have a small uh, logistic range, no construction range, but that's fine. They're basically just there to give these guys materials. Um, and I've placed several of them down. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and I, I was doing some testing and, and things were like a little bit glitchy to be honest um, with, I, I think it, it was a user error, honestly on my part, but just to be sure, because the, the main reason you would use this I think is for, uh, like blueprint building more so than repairing. Um, but I maybe we'll do the repairing near the end here. But um, I have a couple blueprints here that I'm gonna place. Um, but first I'm gonna throw some bots in this network. You don't even need to put bots in them, just their equipment and they will request the bots. Uh, so I'm gonna put the bots in here and you can see it's bringing them. Um, now they do change colors based on like their jobs. Um, now this guy is going off to do something. Um, so he's going actually to deconstruct. So they will deconstruct. I forgot I had marked those trees for deconstruction. Um, and you can see they're already off doing things. Uh, so now, so let's say uh, I have like an outpost blueprint. This is excellent for building like outposts. Um, I can just place it and forget. And they already request a way at rail and you can see this guy's just doing that. Now, obviously in vanilla, if the spider tron were already there, it would also already do that. Um, but this happened to have some of the materials and just started. And then this guy is coming with the rest of the materials. I didn't have to send it here or anything. And it is continuing the work that the last one left off on. And then this one's heading back. Um, there is a little bit of a delay here and there, like, you know, just because of, you know, the limited, like <laughs> how the game works essentially. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and place a, a bit of a bigger blueprint here, like more of like a base section blueprint. Um, and it should get these things going. Now this guy, I'm not quite, okay, so he did start. Uh, the reason that some of these may just be standing there is because it like really only uses the amount of spider or constructrons that it needs for a job. So like it was using three, it didn't really need a fourth one for that little mining outpost. Uh, so it kind of just left that one there because it really wasn't needed at the time. Um, but you can do this on a very large scale if, if you want to. Uh, now, these guys do seem to have paused. They're probably missing some materials or just waiting a little bit. Uh, but you can see this guy has already started on this, has a bunch of materials for this, uh, potentially requested all of the things it looks like. So yeah, it's potentially missing some materials here um, for these to actually pick that up and continue the job. Uh, but if I go ahead and say like damage some stuff that maybe needs repairs, um, some of them may go do these repairs. Like if your walls got damaged by biters perhaps, um, or I could, you know, take some concrete and maybe, you know, place, place this down. Um, so they can start ghosting this. There should be some of this in the network and they would start placing that. Uh, and, and they will kind of just go do their own thing, which is, it's just really nice. You know, the, the main thing here is just you have to make sure that you keep materials in your network, like 
within the network of these uh, service stations. And you can see this blueprint's already built. Like, I didn't do anything. I don't even have power armor equipment. This is already built. And I didn't have to send spiders anywhere. I just put the materials in here. You know, if you just have like a hub or a mall in your base and just put materials in uh, passive providers or even uh, buffer chests and then just had these service stations, these guys would do everything. Um, now, I'm gonna actually dump some landfill here for one more example. Put some landfill in there and then I'm gonna landfill. Uh, now, the dev said there is some like landfill is one of the things that could perhaps be done a bit smoother. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this anyway and see how it works. Uh, while it does that, I'm going to go over some of the new features with the mod compared to uh, what it had originally. So it now works with space exploration or multi-service support, which is fantastic. Originally, it did not do that. So you can use this in space exploration now. Um, and you can see it is doing the landfill. Again, it's a little wonky, but it did work. Um, it does work with Crastorio 2 now as well. Uh, it can do landfill and tiles, obviously. Um, it could not do that in the original uh, Spotlight version. Uh, and then it has the ability to use modded robots, which is super cool. Um, there's control commands, uh, new graphics for the station or for the uh, service stations here. Just kind of differentiate them. It has a little beacon antenna. Uh, and then repair jobs are possible. So repairing was not possible previously either. Um, and it's just super cool. There's a bunch more settings too. If we go into settings here, there's a lot, uh, but I, I left most as default. So alert threshold, just like basically how many seconds um, it display an alert when a Constructron materials are not fulfilled by logistics. Um, number of robots, so number of robots keeping them. You could increase if, if you like have a really huge blueprint to build. Um, this is what they're using, which is obviously construction robots. Um, or yeah, uh, entities process per tick. So you could change this. Um, I believe if you increase it, it would maybe make things uh, like kind of move forward a little faster. And then same with the delay before starting new jobs. Um, it says allow bots more or less time to build a ghost in seconds. Um, so this was five by default. I decreased it to two, um, but you, you could leave it as is. It would just be like a little more or less delay between bots doing stuff. Um, maximum job time, so maximum time to wait for a job to complete in minutes. Um, again, you could uh, you could like reduce this. So that's possibly why those other uh, constructrons were just sitting there because the first one that went out essentially was able, like, was able to just complete this job on its own and it didn't need the help of the others would be my guess. Um, enable debug logging, that's off. Robot, clear robots when idling. So clears robots from inventory when not on a job and then re-request them. I don't know that you would really want this on. It seems like it kind of just slowed down the process. Um, rebuild jobs is on, deconstruction jobs is on, upgrade jobs, you can do upgrades as well. Pair jobs, I turned on, it was off by default, but I turned it on. Um, and this is like the threshold. So like if an item is below 75% here, it'll repair it, um, allow landfill, and then deconstruct ground items as well. Um, and then also there's use easy recipes, which is just on here. Um, and then enable rocket power construction. So this is for space exploration. But there's all your settings. Um, I know this was kind of a, a longer update, but I, I did want to demonstrate it. It's, it's overall just a, a fantastic mod, I think. Um, like there's just... It's really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just place another one of these just as kind of a last demonstration. Now, obviously this doesn't have power because I never actually connected it to power. Um, but you can see this guy here is, and maybe one of the others is turning blue and they're being brought the materials. Now they may be missing some materials here. Um, so you can see here that we're missing like chests, inserters, uh, rails, power poles, and some signals. So if I just like go ahead and dump all that stuff in here, then that should kind of just get things moving. Um, so you can see this guy's heading off and it probably just doesn't even need these to complete the job. So, you know, it's overall this is a fairly small blueprint, um, but it's going ahead and doing it and it's, it's just getting it all done, which is awesome. So that's a update guys, highly suggest this mod. It is super cool. Um, there is a link in the description as always, where you can check this out on the mod portal, a bunch more info there and uh, the dev will continue to update it very active, just keeps adding really awesome features and uh, optimizations and stuff. And if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them below as always. If you did enjoy, a like is appreciated as well. And if you need a channel, welcome and feel free to subscribe to keep up with future content like this. 
And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.